Migrant woman ignores rules and scales border fence ends up in the hospital. The first noteworthy injury has befallen a Central American woman since a thousand-strong caravan of immigrants reached the U.S. Mexico border. According to the migrant, however, she was not traveling with the caravan. Nevertheless, you can expect the mainstream media to use her story to demonize President Donald Trump for fortifying our porous southern border against the onslaught of unvetted illegal immigrants who have no business entering the country. On Friday, a 26-year-old Guatemalan woman who was traveling with her two children, ages 3 and 5, decided to scale a border fence in San Diego and was promptly impaled by the rebar. The woman climbed a fence east of the San Isidro port of entry, where construction crews were putting up a new barrier to replace the old fencing. She slipped and fell, and she was impaled. A mother who scaled the U.S. Mexico border fence near the San Isidro port of entry Friday night fell and was impaled by pieces of rebar, Border Patrol said Saturday. The 26-year-old Guatemalan woman was with her two children, ages 3 and 5, when she crossed illegally, said Border Patrol agent Takai Michael. She told agents she was not part of the massive migrant caravan camped out in Tijuana, Michael said. The mother climbed the fence east of the port of entry, where construction crews have been working to replace decades-old primary fencing with a new barrier. When she fell, pieces of rebar pierced her side and buttocks. Border Patrol arrived to render medical aid about 8.25 p.m. and requested assistance from the San Diego Fire Rescue Department. She was taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Source, the San Diego Union Tribune. Entering our country illegally, particularly over our walls is not only dangerous, but also very foolish, San Diego's Chief Border Patrol Agent Rodney Scott.